What's up guys, James here and today we're going to be starting on a bit of a series of plugin tests. Now the idea of this is getting true honest reviews and basically a better idea for you about how plugins are going to work before you install them because I'm genuinely going to be looking at this plugin, comparing it to other ones, finding good and bad points and basically letting you know. So what we're going to get started with first is actually form plugins because you know most sites have forms especially if you're a business or somewhere else so essentially you're going to need a good form. Now obviously contact form 7 has sort of you know it is by far the most used one with, with 10 million plus activations and then you've got a plethora of other ones today we're going to be looking at formidable forms it's one i've genuinely never used before i mean it's got just well plus 400,000 downloads which is actually very close to forminator which is something that i use myself quite a lot and what i've noticed is that, that i think they're going for around the same thing here so if you notice some of the wording forminator forms forbiddable forms custom form builder custom form builder so you can see w where one has gone after the other one either way let's check this plugin out and you know realistically let's see is it going to be any good for you any good for me and for the user on the site now i'm quite glad to see it on the left hand side here i do hate it when sometimes they hide it within tools or settings and essentially having to look around everywhere to find where the plugin is so let's have a look we've got our dashboard obviously forms light so it looks obviously we've got the free version that's understandable although you know let's just be real that obviously the fact that forminator does give you a huge amount um to do so let's just see how much we're allowed to do we have our entries which i find is really good one of the things with custom form 7 is you don't get your entries if you miss the email you haven't set up your emailing system you don't get your entries um, there is like another plugin that you can download to gather them but i don't like the fact that you have to have two different plugins for that views first that's like in analytics so you can check out your analytics styles applications anyway let's actually start looking at these one by one let's check out the dashboard okay fairly standard we don't have too much obviously we have uh, how many forms we have how many entries we have um, total views which I'm assuming we get with the free version doesn't quite say yet and installed app so let's go down to the forms so it looks like they've created us a contact us form let's just go ahead and preview that let's see what it looks like I don't like that I, <laughs> I don't know whether that's something to do with maybe my theme or if that's the way that it's set up that that's not good I mean I get it we get to view the form but that's in the worst sort of possible way it's basically just opened up another page with a complete form on it maybe that can be fixed so let's go edit or settings let's see what the settings are first okay so this is in a very different way to Forminator um, I've got to say Forminator is probably a bit more easy to do a bit more drag and drop and so I don't mean to just be directly comparing them it's just by the wording, the setup, and the name, you sort of assume they're going to sort of go hand in hand as a form. Either way, we've got our form title, form key, description from the form. They do use Honeypot, which is good, and it seems to be free as well with a free version. When your form open only for a certain time period. Okay, we've got to upgrade. <laughs> it's fair. Now, I think we can go straight over from, to build from settings. It looks like pretty much what we saw on the last page it seems that these are the free options and these are the pro options now just from the fact of using it quite recently i know that you've got the file upload is for free on forminator the time rating uh, page break is free on forminator dress i didn't surely address would have to be in the free one signature i get that you know most forms will need the pro version to get a nice signature i think it's like an authentication method to say that it truly was signed by you i don't know what ai is anyway okay so it seems that we have a good amount of free stuff but it probably could do with a few more bits obviously we have text checkboxes i think it's a drag and drop let's see that seems pretty easy and then you click on it and then from there you can configure stuff so actually that's not too bad if you are starting for a first time you know form maker that's fairly usable add an option minus an option what's in the advanced field i think this is to do with calculations um, normally with these forms you can add calculations to them so let's say you know somebody answers something somebody answers something it will then calculate something for a uh, you know another answer essentially Got phone number number and capture of course that's very important these days with forms otherwise you're going to end up getting like a hundred different entries a day it gets pretty ridiculous and html i do like it when you can add your html so you can really customize it then even if you don't know coding you can just go to chat gpt and ask it for the html and css to create you something cool but let's do a little update so i don't think we can switch on the top without updating it now views can we view the views or is that like a pro version it's a pro version so Again, I do hate to keep comparing this, Formulator does allow you to see the views and analytics. One of the things I noticed is payments on here. Now, I'm just trying to see if that product quantity total. Okay, so it looks like it's a pro version thing. Let's go over to the style. Yeah, lots of upgrade to pro, which I do get it. You created a plugin and you want to start making money off it. So Formaker, I like 
ish it's a little bit simple but simple isn't bad and preview it from here we can update it and now really the most important bit is let's try and embed this okay i quite like this so we've got uh, options here to select existing page uh, create a new page for it or insert manually with a php code oh, and it gives you the short code as well a little copy button there so i think that's what we will do short codes are easy peasy i'm just going to do this on the normal you know format for putting stuff on wordpress i'm not going to use elemental for this and using the short code block here we go we'll go preview right so let's publish that one and let's go ahead and view the page that's not too bad that fits fairly okay i'm assuming what's you know rather than you checking the padding which we will check in a minute if you can do the padding on the settings but it basically sets itself in whatever block you've given it so let's try out on a different column this time let's do a small column put in the short code in here so let's check this out on a smaller scale i'm assuming it's basically going to fit to the block or the column very nice so it fits the column quite nicely so you know it's a much easier way than having to you know change the padding on this especially if you're a beginner awesome so we got the basics it can create a form it's a drag and drop we are somewhat limited but it can create us an easy form if we need it now let's finish off with the other bits that it has so it has entries and views views we determined you need the upgraded version for but you can check out the entries which is more than um, custom form 7 let's just check out styles and application okay got it so essentially it takes you back to the style option up here which I do like to see, it does actually give you the style options, um, for instance padding on the form, the colour, border, different alignments, let's see does it have all the other options, okay so it does look actually like it has quite a great amount of options here, field colours, description colours, and actually I've got to say this is one thing that I do prefer here is the fact that it gives you the different options whereas uh, with other other plugins sometimes it can be not quite as uh, as easy as this so for instance they might have input areas which would basically affect most of things but not everything whereas here you got the field labels descriptions field colors etc now applications improve your workflow with applications applications help you organize your workspace by combining forms views pages into a full solution let's see what they've done here essentially they've said right we can combine everything into the pro version if you pay for it it does look like it has some pretty decent stuff from certificates invoice generators faqs which i don't understand so you can make that into a drop down menu team directories etc interesting let's head over to form templates yeah that's pretty cool you seem to have a number of templates here obviously you know all templates that you're allowed without pro is limited that's fair enough but then i like the templates that they have here everything from the mortgage calculator PayPal donation job application e-commerce product configuration i look quite like this it looks like they've put in quite a bit of effort to give you lots of templates if you do pay for the pay for version stuff like this i get it you know they've put in effort obviously as well as their plugin but extra effort which you know you should really pay for if you want something like this as it's going to save you some time now one of the things i noticed on here is that some or well, they do still still have little locks so let's just try this out with a quiz and let's see are we still allowed to use it that's a pro template so okay there we go free templates so it does look like we have 33 free templates J jail really <laughs> i really thought about everything let's check out the crowdfunding one okay okay so it looks like to unlock the free ones you do have to sign up to probably some sort of form funnily enough but like a subscription form or something like that and they'll send you the code for some free templates you know what can you do you, you, not everything's free in life let's go over to payments it's a new feature is it a free new feature or is it a paid feature it looks like something that you don't need the pro feature for which is pretty cool it looks like you can connect with stripe not seeing paypal that might be like a paid version just connect your you know your test key your live key recapture change the message defaults okay, pretty decent it looks like you can create payments with the free version as well and smtp what is this okay so this is actually and it's quite interesting this because a lot of forms and most of the plugins don't tell you that you do need to have your smtp or some sort of mailing system created for the forms to go anywhere I do recommend WP um, Mail SMTP and basically from there you can use the free one which is Brevo. You can sign up, it gives you X amount of emails per day which is more than enough for a starter website. And once you've got it set up your email will actually go out from your website. This will be anything from your reset password to forms and if you don't have something like that you know they won't go. You can also use something like um, MailPoet. MailPoet has its own system so once you configure that you can essentially just ask it to then uh, use it for your whole site so it'll send all the emails or well, of course wp smtp that will work perfectly well when i say uh, send it or brevo it's actually send in blue it used to be send in blue it's now called brevo so there's the formidable forms plugin now i'll let you make your own decision 
My personal opinion would be that I think it's a good way to get started. It seems easy enough to create a form. It helps you with the SMTP process, which means your forms will actually get sent out to people or replies will. It has got some cool free templates which you can use if you sign up. However, a lot of it is also, you know, or some important bits are hidden behind a paywall, which is sort of fair enough. If you want a quick free form maker, this essentially will do the job. Um, it lets you see the entries, which I think is quite important. Very important, in fact, especially if you don't have your mailing system set up. And it's also got free payments, so you know you can sort out payments through your form. So I think I'm going to be giving this around a 7 out of 10. 10, of course, being is that it's the most perfect form plugin ever. There are some faults, there are some things that I don't think should be on the paid version, some of the simple sections. I didn't really like the way that it showed the preview of the form, but there are many things that I do like. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and popping up now are going to be two videos that you can go on and watch now. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.